This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with worldwide financial planning, Truro and Penwith College, and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. The weather was kind all week for Art Silly 2011. Organisation, publicity and a variety of events in all the islands seem to be the key to the success of the event. The second promotion of Ireland's arts and crafts has finished with Oriel Hicks saying she's pleased how things have gone so far this year. Very well. Um, very pleased with the uptake in most of the classes. Uh, the, uh, the opening due on, the, on Saturday was very well attended. Lots of the artists turned up too, which was great. Oriel says the sessions were devised to offer additional activities for visitors, but many residents got involved too. Mainly for visitors, but I mean, I've had two locals in this morning in the class out of seven. I had two locals in yesterday out of seven. There was at least three locals doing bookbinding last night, night before. Um, and uh, yet, it, there have been some some people, in, local people, who have taken it up, which is is very nice to hear to see. Oriel says it's important that events add something special to a visitor's experience of the islands, and she feels Art Silly helps tourism. Somebody had actually stayed on an extra week because they really wanted to do Art Silly Week, which was nice. A two-day event of quilting and stitching was held at the church pavilion. As part of Art Silly, there was a good turnout of visitors and islanders who wanted to see images of Silly portrayed through needlework on quilts and blankets and fabrics. Jill Wilson says when you see the breadth of the group's work on display, you can see what a productive community the stitchers are. There's an amazing diversity of work done with fabric and it's growing um, through groups like this and people swapping ideas, swapping fabrics finding out other things that they can do. The work of the Lioness Quilters was also drawing attention. They're making personalised comfort blankets for kids who'll be in the children's hospice in St Austell when it opens later this year. And the Silly Stitches group isn't just about women. Jill says they have some male members. They tend to be very organised and laid out and sort of engineering type drawings to go to work to, whereas ladies tend to see, be a bit more um, flexible along the sides, if you might say. One of the items on display, fabric postcards, could offer an unique way to send a message home from holiday. I was looking for something that hasn't been done on Silly and so I wasn't going to tread on anybody's artistic toes. Um, so I started making fabric postcards and they've um, proved to be very good. It's something I've never done before, um, just happened to find the book in the right place and uh, had a read and thought, this is for me, so this is a new venture. Also as part of Art Silly, in the middle of St Mary's at Maypole, members of the arts group have been showing off their work. One of the projects has been to replicate the image of the boat used on the front of the 2011 Ireland's Tourism Brochure, an image taken by photographer Chris Hall of St Mary's. June Lethbridge helped arrange that event. We like the uh, picture on the cover of the brochure uh, by um, Chris... Hall. Chris Hall, yes. So we asked his permission and he said, yes, we could go ahead and... We each uh, did our own, painted our own version of it, and, and this is the result. After the second of the Art Silly events, Oriel knows what needs to be done next time to make the 2012 event even better. We're going to have a debrief after this week, uh, and we're going to have a meeting and see what we would change, what we would improve, what we think worked, what didn't work. The things that um, did, didn't work, the things I should have done slightly differently, was in the Art Silly brochure. Um, I should have put the website because we're going to have photographs on the website.